It's your open source advocate and I'm back with another video and today I want to talk very briefly about the scripts that I talk about on a lot of my videos. So a while back I got kind of tired of doing all of my Docker installs all the time just for every server that I set up to show you guys anything. I had to go install Docker and Docker Compose and sometimes Nginx Proxy Manager and things like that. So I started making some scripts for the different versions of Linux out there, kind of the major um, I guess what you'd call server distros and uh, so I had a whole bunch of scripts and I thought uh, earlier today I was like you know why am I doing a whole lot of scripts so I started rewriting it and I've created a single script now that actually runs through and it asks you a few questions so it asks do you want to install docker ce yes no do you want to install uh, docker compose yes no do you want to install nginx proxy manager yes no and finally portainer ce yes no uh, so the first thing it actually asks is way down here at the bottom and it says, you know, what what OS are you running? So you've got the options of CentOS 7, Debian 10, Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04. And basically the system will pop up and prompt you with that and depending on what you answer, it'll run through all of these things. So it'll kind of ask you two questions. What is your operating system? And then do you want to install each of these things? Now, of course, you have to install Docker if you really want to use Docker Compose or Nginx Proxy Manager or Portainer. And you have to install Docker Compose if you want to install Nginx Proxy Manager. So some of these are dependent on each other, and I'm, I'm not checking those dependencies yet, but I may add it. But I wanted to show you guys that I can actually get into a server and install Docker CE, the Community Edition, Docker Compose, Nginx Proxy Manager, and Portainer CE, and have them up and running in under five minutes. So I've got two different setups uh, working here today. Uh, the first one I've got is a root user setup. And the second one that I've got is basically um, just my standard user who's set up and ready to go. It's a pseudo user, but other than that, it's just a regular user. So I'm just going to highlight all of this script. Just going to move it down here. Keep going, keep going, keep going down. All the way to the bottom of it until I get everything highlighted. So it's, it's kind of long, I know that, but um, somebody said you can you can switch it to raw mode and do it a lot easier. But anyways... Uh, I'm going to do control C to copy this and I'm going to go open up my different uh, panels here. So on the left, I've got my standard user. You can see Brian and I'm logged into a, to a server here called Ubuntu uh, test or yeah. Um, anyways, yeah. So it's test one. Uh, no test. Yeah. So this is my Ubuntu normal test one and my Ubuntu root test one on the right. Sorry about that. So I'm logged in as root over here. So let's start with the root one. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually make this full screen so you guys can see it. I want to say thank you to all of my patrons over at Patreon and my subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love doing this channel. I love making this media and this content for you. I hope you enjoy it as well. I do post all of the videos now over at Patreon after one of my patrons made the suggestion, and I don't know why it didn't dawn on me before that. But if you're interested in seeing them through Patreon and getting a notification through Patreon instead of through YouTube or hoping that YouTube's algorithms happens to show it to you, jump over and become a supporter on Patreon, patreon.com. I've got the links in the description and the show notes. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. I'll do Docker uh, PS right now, and you'll see I get an error because I don't have Docker installed yet. And same way with Docker Compose PS. I don't have Docker Compose installed yet, which means I don't have Portainer, and I definitely don't have Nginx Proxy Manager. So uh, I'm going to clear that out. And I'm just logged into a server, so it's just a fresh server, and you can do this anytime you want to. But let's say you already have Docker and Docker Compose installed, and you just want Nginx Proxy Manager. Just answer no to those first two, and then yes to Nginx Proxy Manager, and it'll just install that piece. So that's the way. I, that's why I made it that way. But we'll run through it. So I'm going to do nano. I'm going to create a file called Docker installs.sh or install.sh. How about that? And I'm going to paste in all of that code I just copied. Just make sure there's one line there at the end. We'll scroll back up just to make sure I got the hashtag and the exclamation point um, here real quick. And yes, I've got everything there. So I'm just going to save this with control O and enter. And then I'm going to get out of it with control X and I'm going to change the permission on it uh, with chmod plus X Docker installs.sh uh, so now that's executable and now I'm just going to run it with dot slash docker install.sh and you see right away it pops up and says which one do you want to install and you have to give it one of those numbers so if I give it 8 it's going to say that's not valid you can't use that number if I give it A again it's going to tell you it's not valid so you have to use one of the numbers that's there um, so I'm using Ubuntu 2004 in this case so I'm going to give it number 4 uh, if you give it five, it'll exit the installer, of course. So number four. All right, it's going to pop up and say, do you want Docker CE? Yes, we do. 
Docker Compose, yes we do. Nginx Proxy Manager, yes we do. And finally, Docker Portainer CE, yes we do. So I'm going to install all four things, and here it goes. I should not have to interact with this at all after this point, so I'm just going to be quiet and let it run, and you guys can kind of watch it go. Alright, and it's done. So when you get to this prompt again, you just hit number five and it will exit that script. And I can clear that out. Now you can see here I give you instructions on what to do once Nginx Proxy Manager is up and running, and I give you the instructions for how to get to Portainer. But we'll clear that out and we'll do Docker PS again. And now you can see here, here we go. We've got Portainer, we've got Nginx Proxy Manager DB and Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, app one running so you know docker's working docker compose is working and that's pretty awesome so uh, we could go to the uh, ipa here and get the ip address you see a bunch of bridges and docker uh, bridges and things but what we need is our public ip address right here so we can just copy that and if we go back to our browser we can just paste it in and colon nine thousand And there's Portainer. Of course, you'd have to go through the Portainer setup the first time. 
if we paste that in and do colon 81, and here's Nginx Proxy Manager, and again, you just go through the normal setup using admin at example.com and change me, and you're set. So that one's running. All right, I hope that was a, a decent amount of proof for you guys. I'm just going to copy this again, except it copies everything when I do that. So let me just get everything here. Get all that, copy it. All right, so we've got one more uh, shell open up here. And I'm going to bring it up. And this is the one where I'm just logged in as me. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say nano docker install.sh. Here, I'll show you first that there's no docker running. There's no docker compose. Uh, yeah. Nothing installed there. So we'll do nano docker install sh and again we'll just paste in this script save it with control o and enter and then exit with control x we'll change the permissions with chmod plus x docker install sh and then we'll run it with dot slash docker install sh and again it's going to prompt and again this is a ubuntu 2004 but i have tested this on centos 7 debian 10 and ubuntu 18.04 so i'm going to hit number four and I want every one of them, so why, 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 and why, just to make sure I get them all. And it's going to go do this thing again, so I'm just going to sit here and let it run. It does want a, it does want a super user password to do these installs, so you'll have to provide that. it's finished up so now we're just going to do a sudo docker ps and the reason i'm doing sudo is because i haven't logged out and back in yet so i'm not going to be considered a part of the docker group 
But there we go. We've got everything running again. There's Portainer. Uh, Nginx Proxy Manager is also running. So if we look at the names, we've got Portainer, Nginx Proxy Manager DB1, and Nginx Proxy Manager App1. So there you have it. I installed Docker CE, Docker Compose, Nginx Proxy Manager, and Portainer all in less than five minutes. And it's with a pretty simple script that gives you all the options that you can ask for. Uh, so as you guys try this, if you have issues, let me know. If you have ideas, you want to add something, let me know. Feel free to pull it down, make a pull request. I'll push it up into GitHub once I've tested it and make sure it's working. Um, I'm happy to add to this. I think it's a really fast tool and a fast way to get your server set up. So I hope you guys like this. If you did, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it so they can come along on the journey with us, and I'll talk to you next time.